to sleep. Dr. Bernard. Yes? Um, I'm new on this floor and well, I was sort of curious about this man. Curious? Really? I wouldn't worry about it. Well, I was particularly interested in his drug regimen. Seems that he's on a great deal of stimulants. Quite an excessive amount, actually. Yes, an extremely excessive amount, and I'd like to keep it that way. But sir, I don't understand. His name is Edward Eichel, and he's been awake for two years straight. Don't ever let him fall asleep, young man, at all cost. He must never sleep. Had I known who I had been put in charge of that day, had I known all the dreadful truth, I can't say I would have stayed here. Dr. Barnard had established a new order in the asylum, it's true. But there was still much darkness in this place. More than Barnard myself or anyone else could have swept away and covered up with some new white paint. No, the world we like to think lies safely beyond the walls of sleep and in some other plane of existence had slipped ever so briefly into this one. A man can endure many things more than most of us like to think he can. He can live without food and water for months. He can live through the most ravishing disease, brave the harshest of elements, and live without almost anything most of us would consider a necessity. But the one thing he can't live without, no matter how hard he tries, is sleep.